Now, the 2019 edition of the Rugby World Cup has produced some fine actions in Japan with the well-served revenge packages as South Africa and England face off in Saturday's final game. Cup holders New Zealand were rammed by England 19-7 to at the semi-finals, while South Africa, who finished third in 2015, narrowly edged Wales 19-16 to in the second semi-finals. This far in the competition, interesting statistics are popping up uh, with South Africa enjoying the Lions' share of uh, most points recorded, 230 in the 20-team competition, which started on September 20th and will end on November 2nd. 43 matches have been played this far with 275 tries scored. Japan's Yu Tamura is the top scorer with 51 points, uh, while Josh Adams of Wales has attempted and converted six tries. Earlier, we had time to share some more light with uh, Eric Oteng, who is a journalist and, of course, uh, a rugby fan who has been following every game of the competition. And here is what he had to say. First of all, I will say Japan have been a good host for the tournament. They've broken new grounds because many were skeptical whether Japanese fans will troop into the stadiums to watch games outside of Japanese matches. But they filled most of the stadiums. So for me, kudos to the Japanese for being good hosts. And let's come to the teams themselves. I will have to give plaudits to England for the way they were able to mastermind a win over New Zealand because many of us least expected England to beat New Zealand. But that's the beauty of sports. There has to be an upset. And so for me, I would say England have been good finalists. But to our African brother, South Africa, it was clear right from the start of the rugby championship, they showed that they were in for business. And for me, Coach Eras and Ras Erasmus has done a great job in turning the team around because in their first game, they lost to New Zealand. But that was, someone would say, a good omen. It made them realize that, no, we need to step up to the plate. There's massive interest in rugby in South Africa. Because if you look at the top three sports being played in the country, football being number one, rugby being number two, and cricket. So for South Africans, rugby is part of their DNA. It's part of their sporting culture. So I'm not really surprised at all because even in their high school, university levels, they have schools competing for tournaments. So I'm not surprised at all. Even before South Africa won the Nations Cup in 96, they had won the Rugby World Cup in 95. So the imprint of the interest of the sport was already there. All right, we move over to talk football, where a remarkable start for African representatives at the ongoing FIFA Under-17 World Cup as three out of four teams make the knockout stage. With two victories uh, after two games, Nigeria, Angola and Senegal sail through with uh, one group game to spare, while uh, African champions uh, Cameroon lost uh, their opener. And uh, Nigeria East passed Hungary 4-2 and later outplayed Ecuador 3-2, while Angola beat New Zealand and Canada 2-1 in both of their games. Senegal was too strong for the US of A in their opener 4-1 the game ended. The Baby Lions later beat the Netherlands 3-1 to book their knockout spot. African champions Cameroon lost their first game against Tajikistan by a narrow margin while they suffered a heavy blow earlier this morning to Argentina. The game ended 3-1 in favor of Argentina. Now get more sports news and updates uh, on our channel as well as on our website, not leaving out our social media outlets. Bye for now.